All right, guys, word just came in that there is a major thunderstorm coming our way, and everyone is advised to take shelter, so we should too. That's really bad. I hope everyone in these cars get to a place of shelter fast. Where do you have in mind Trump? I mean, we can't just go to any regular shelter. Actually, I want to see how bad this thunderstorm is first. I don't want to waste my time for something that won't be that bad. Well, guys, since it's all rainy, let's talk about some depressing stories. Let's talk about how Mr. John Trump L or whatever has ruined our country, man. It's not the same. Am I right, Obama? I mean, if that's what you believe, then I guess it's true in your eyes. Wow, Barack is so self-righteous. Why won't you answer the question, have I ruined the country or not? What the heck is that, a tornado? Go back, Donald. What are you doing? Don't drive straight into it, you idiot. Well, we better hope this presidential vehicle will survive this. If you get it destroyed, the people will not be happy, Trump. Yeah, I understand that. But new change of plans. I don't think this is any normal thunderstorm. There are multiple tornadoes in a close proximity. I think we may have to flee the city. I have a plane at the closest airport. We are going to have to flee with that. You guys don't think this may be the end of the world, right? I mean, this is really bad. No way, Joe, just go back to sleep at this point. I can't believe you actually think this is the end of the world. Even if it was, it would happen when we are dead a really long time after that. Are you hearing what he's saying, little meatloaf? Can you be quiet, Barack? Keep Robinette's stupid thoughts out of your decently smart mind. Do you not see the tornadoes in front of us? Do you want to go flying? If so, I can drive into one. Only if you want, though. Seems like everyone in the hospital evacuated. Otherwise, that ambulance wouldn't be here. I guess you were right, guys. This isn't the end of the Earth. Sorry for being afraid. I should have never thought that. Um, Biden, I think you were actually perfectly correct on your analysis of the situation. We need to get out of here fast. Trump, get to the airport pronto. So I guess this is really the end of the world. Are these meteors really trying to do us like the dinosaurs? Man, we are United Watch States out, presidents. Whoa, my bad. Is everyone okay? Is everyone alive? Oh my gosh, I made a big mistake. I should have been focusing. It's fine, Trump. Just get us to the airport fast. And I was wondering, once we are on that plane, where are we going to go? To the moon? You guys have a military-grade bunker somewhere. I'm sorry to say this, but I don't have a plan for this one. We are going to have to make it up as we go, Biden. We have no other choice. We can't predict what will happen next. I hope my wife and kids are safe. I don't know how we will meet once this ends, but I hope everything is good for them right now. Who in the car got ink on my suit? Was it you, Biden? What are you writing at this time? Well, Trump, I'm writing my will. I will give all my money to my children. This is really depressing. Do you have an extra sheet? Also, why are you writing with a feather? It's not the 1900s. I will give all my money to my wife. Who will you give your money to Trump? I'm sorry for this, but ain't no one getting my money. Back up, Trump, back up, Trump, back up. You idiot Donald Duck Trump, whatever the third whatever, why would you just drive into the biggest tornado you see? You could have stopped. You think I did this on purpose, Barack man. You Democrats really can't stop yapping. Go watch anime or something. Do something productive. Also, Biden, why do I feel a liquid coming down my suit? Did you vomit on me? Yes, I did, Trump. But aren't there really powerful weapons in this presidential car? Did you disarm and release them? Yes, I did a long time ago, Biden. I think ahead. Don't act like a know-it-all. I get it. You you idiot Robinette, I was too busy arguing with you. I didn't see we're about to crash. Why didn't you tell us anything, Hussein? So that was your excuse, Obama. Man, you younglings are addicted to those phones of yours. Back in my day, we didn't have those. Hold on, you're like 60. You are not young, buddy. Not gonna lie, Trump, be quiet. You were arguing with Biden while looking out the window. It's your fault. Now, since the world is ending, let me tell you about all the things me and Melania did. First, we went on a vacation to the Caribbean right after you were inaugurated. You thought that was a photo shoot? That was a date with me and Melania, which you paid for. Second, we went to. If you don't be quiet, I have dirt on both of you. If you don't want it to come out, I suggest you both be quiet before I snitch and tell both of your wives. Your A snitch, Trump? Well, forget that we are nearing close to the airport, guys. Are you ready? Do you have someone to fly the plane, Trump? Or will one of us have to fly it? I'm going to be honest. I have multiple planes that come in and out of areas just in case I feel like getting up one day and visiting it. Holy crap, Trump, you can't drive. What the heck are you doing? I'm about to take the wheel man who let this man drive. I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I'm a great driver, but I was saying getting up one day and visiting a new place, so I don't really know. Not gonna lie, Trump the second was right, man. The second, I would never have a number in my name. But back to the point, he was right. You are a terrible driver. 
How about you be quiet and let me drive in peace? Instead, you should be writing that stupid will of yours. My daily routine is going to be more rigorous than dodging these meteors. I'm guessing the plane is in a hangar. Hopefully, it hasn't been blown up by now. We are going to have to make a mad dash to the plane to avoid being hit by a meteor. You saw how the car got flinged meter forward just now. That's going to be us. Do you think we can move faster than a car? I'm 80 years old, man. I don't know what you expect from me. We just got to hope luck is on our side, Biden. We need to lock in. We have to learn how to evade meteors on the fly. I know that sounds crazy, but we should be able to do it. You learn things quicker by doing it. So if you get hit, that just proves that I'm the better president, man. That doesn't prove anything, John. You are a lying, deceiving piece of crap. Me and Joe do not want to hear anything from you ever again. You are a far-right piece of crap that does nothing productive. Doesn't add any value to society, you just ruin it. Shut up, Barack. Get ready to hop out. Why didn't you just stop the car, you idiot? Now I'm bleeding. It made us look really cool. Did you expect me just to slide into here? We got to look like bosses, man. And it looks like no one is here. They must have ran. I was paying them good, man. Well, I'm going to have to fly the plane. I've never flown one before, but there should be a manual in the plane. If you crash this plane, so help me, I will take all of your money if I make it out, and I won't leave any for anybody. I will take all your islands, all your cars, all your materialistic things. You aren't going to save anything for me, Robinette. I mean, I'm your day one. I'm your right-hand man. I've been there for you when no one else was. They doubted you, but I didn't back down from you. You telling me you ain't going to slide me no money. You know how rude that is to do to one of your day ones. He isn't your daddy Biden. Calm down. A tsunami is going to hit the city, and everybody needs to evacuate it immediately. A tsunami that's not good. Why the heck are you drinking Biden? Go be Trump's co-pilot. You're 80. You have flown multiple planes before in your lifetime. All right, I'm going, gosh. This plane is so hard to fly. Biden, hurry up. Also, where are we going now? I said we would make it as we go, but I actually think we need a game plan. I stabilized the plane a bit, but I have no idea at this point, Trump. Maybe we find a place where this event isn't occurring. But I'm pretty sure it's happening all over the globe, because when we started flying, I could see meteors far away. I'm going to head towards the countryside and see what's happening there. I'm getting the hang of flying this plane. I can't believe the TV is still working on this jet, man. Oh, so you tell me to come up here to help Trump while you look out. But in actuality, you just wanted the TV for yourself. I mean, I knew you were a failure with all the bills that you... Mayday, mayday, prepare for collision. You idiot, Donald, why weren't you looking in front of you? Let me get my vest on. Tell my wife and children that I love them. Whoa, man, what happened? My back hurts really bad. Oh, wait, I forgot we crashed. Well, on the bright side, it seems like the meteor shower is done. We should probably check how much damage it's done to the city. We need to get a gauge so we can start rebuilding as soon as possible. Hopefully it hasn't done too much damage. We don't want to go into deep debt. Are you guys OK? As the oldest, I'm here to check up on you guys. Yeah, we are fine, Biden. It's just our backs. It's going to take a bit of time. Why is the city flooded? What happened here? Don't tell me, oh, no, what happened to all the people in the streets? Hopefully they got to a tall building. We're going to need to find a big boat. You all think we can survive that fall. I mean, the water looks deep, but you don't know what's inside. Maybe it will shock us. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if sharks came out of the water or whales or any sea creature. I mean, why is all of this happening in a similar time frame? I don't know, but I'm glad that those stupid wills you guys made got washed away. Man, I can't wait to see Michelle Obama immediately after this with zero breaks because I'm going to make it out and you guys probably aren't. Don't you have Melania Trump? Do you not like her? I mean, if you don't, it'll take her in and provide for her unlike you. Forget it, Obama. We will never know if these waters will end us until we, we try it out, right? Am I the crazy one here? Yes, Trump, you are the craziest and most unhinged. That's why you got arrested. Yeah, Biden Jr. or whatever isn't lying. You are very unhinged. Well, screw it. I'm going down. See ya. Why are you guys on my boat? You're telling me you're two lazy bums. Expect me to not only swim miles away to find a boat, while you guys sit on top of a building and chat, and now I have to drive for you guys. Plus, after this, if we are able to, you guys are going to make me pay for your living and food. What is this about? I'm tired of being bossed around by Democrats. Well, it's pretty obvious without us, you wouldn't have made it this far. So technically, we are worth the investment. Me and Brandon are crucial assets. You know how many times you would have been blown up without us? I can't even begin to count. But where are we going now? I finally made a game plan. We are going to the observation tower. Obama never called me Brandon again. What did I even do to you? 
You were acting like the nicest person when Trump jumped off that roof. Don't make me call you by your full name, Barack Hussein Obama II. Man, as much as I don't want to go back to the observation tower, we have no other choice. So many bad memories there, am I? Right, guys? But anyways, we need to find a decent car to get up there fast as possible, because there might be people about to flee up there, and we need to go with them, too. I'm ready for anything that's up ahead. Donald Fauntleroy Duck. Now, let me repeat some things so we can all have our motivation boosted. Ronald McDonald said to the Donald, just between us clowns, your polls are too low. So the Donald thought hard, then said to his part, it's because I'm- Stop, stop, stop. That wasn't funny at all. Mr. Rogers, get back to the task at hand. Man, you guys are so useless. I need more Republicans, people who actually will help me, unlike you guys. Why am I the only one doing anything notable today? None of you have clutched up. I'm legit the most valuable person here. You aren't special Trump. We have all done our share. Don't make me get started on the type of things this man Donald has done. We won't even get started on why you got arrested and why you got your mug shots taken, but all the information you have on the government. Yikes. You are a traitor. You are a ticking time bomb of information. I don't want to hear anything from you. If anything, you're the one who hasn't put the work in. Screw you guys, but also thank you at the same time. I wonder if they got a nice, fat, juicy hamburger up there. We are almost up there, guys. Time for our freedom. We can finally go sleep in an actual bed. Why are there zombies up here? I think we're just seeing things. Let's just go up there. Probably just normal people. Oh my gosh, bro Biden. I don't think we're actually seeing things. For once, I actually thought I would get a break. I'm all wet. I swam for hours. I'm sweaty, I'm tired, and I come back to another disaster. You're telling me we have zombies now? How does that even make sense? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess it's time to get to exterminating. If you don't shut up, Biden, I'm actually done, bro. You're telling me we have to do even more work like what has Trump done? Not only have we saved his life on multiple occasions, he also has almost got us killed on multiple occasions. I'm done.